All right, thank you everybody for attending this great day today. We got sunshine, a little wind, but it's going to be a nice, nice ceremony. First of all, I'd like to uh, thank the sports leagues for coming out today, and uh, and the city is really excited about the opportunity to work with them to be able to deliver this great project, all these fields out here. This project marks a milestone in Tracy's history um, in the partnership between the city and the local sports organizations. So today, first we're gonna hear from the mayor, Mayor Brent Ives, and following his remarks, I'll conclude with some fo uh, follow-up comments, and then we'll have the official groundbreaking. So I'd like to welcome our mayor, Brent Ives. Thank you all. It's uh, certainly a pleasure to be here. Uh, these things don't happen often enough, and it's good that we can get together and uh, celebrate these kinds of things. I want to take the opportunity to introduce a number of dignitaries. I want to introduce our San Joaquin County Supervisor, Leroy Arnellis. Please, Leroy. A great supporter of ours. I want to introduce our past mayor, Dick Hasty, right over here. Thank you, Dick. It was Dick who was the idea person behind a piece of property we bought a number of years ago for this. It didn't quite work out that way, but he had an idea along with a few of us. It had to be 25 years ago that we thought this was a good idea. Wow, persistence is important in this business. Also, we're very fortunate to have your entire city council here. And I can tell you on behalf of this council and councils prior to this, this decision and the processes that we went through to get to this day didn't come easy. They came with a lot of political heartache. They came with a lot of political will. We spent a lot of political capital, but we're finally here today. And so I'm very proud to introduce your current council, Mayor Pro Tem Mike Maciel, <laughs> Council Member Steve Abercrombie, <laughs> Council Member Bob Rickman, <laughs> and some of you know Council Member Bob Elliott. He has some signs out there somewhere. As I said, it, this idea of somehow providing for youth sports in a way that they could plan for their future out into perpetuity happened an awful lot of years ago when we had the opportunity to buy a piece of property on the east side of town and then had the opportunity to get a piece of property on the west side of town and here we stand today on a piece of property in the north side of town, but it finally happened. A number of, just the other day I heard someone say that you might hear a hundred no's before you get to a yes. That's how I feel about this project. Those of you that have been with us from the beginning have known that we've been after it and after it and after it and after it never losing the vision of what it would take to get this day started, to get these shovels in the ground. But persistence, those of you that ever aspire to run for office in local public government, make sure that persistence is one of the things that's in your repertoire. Make sure that that's something you expect to have to apply to any good public project, to anything that's worth doing. It takes persistence. So if you look around this city or any other city and you find worthy projects that have taken political capital and political will and political persistence to happen, thank those around you that have been able to apply that and those around you that have been persistent to be able to make it happen. We discovered a distinct shortage years ago. And we knew that as Tracy grew, we would continue to have a distinct shortage in youth uh, sports fields. The local organizations and a few of us got together a number of years ago and said there ought to be a way to make this happen, where we could collaborate to make this happen, where the city could put in some significant piece of property or piece of uh, capital 
and resources to be able to allow you, the sports, the sports organizations in town, to be able to have a piece of property to develop and put your heart and soul and sweat equity into and develop something that you knew was going to last, not something that was going to go away. And you've had very, very good partners in the school districts over the years, and we thank the school districts for what they've done. However, as the schools have grown and as the school districts have grown and the kinds of needs that they have, we all realize that there has to be some other model. Now that model didn't just happen out of thin air, it was a lot of people's ideas. I remember thinking about how this was going to work years ago and thinking, I don't have any idea how we're going to put this together. But the nice thing about having a very, how should I say it, a very professional and very diligent staff is that if they if we aim them in the right direction they will eventually find out how to get us where we want to go and that's exactly what happened in this and the person that introduced me Robbie Cannon where is where Rob standing right over there is the man that really found that elegant solution of how it was going to work and I just want all of us to thank that man for the work he's put into this That being said, it's, this property is going to be home to youth sports for years into the future. In its entirety, it'll be about 160 acres. Right now, we're being able to develop 72. The 72 acres, we're putting multiple million dollars into as a city to be able to support your youth sports organizations. The youth sports organizations then in turn will be able to take these pieces of property and develop them as they have in the school districts and the places where they play now into long-term fields where they can rely on their ability to be able to have into the future, as I said, in perpetuity. So four organizations, two baseball, two soccer leagues have entered into uh, memorandums of understanding with the city for the first phase and they, that began in March 1st, 2011. With a commitment from these leagues, the city was able to complete the plans for the first phase, which included 12 baseball fields and eight soccer fields. The city's providing the utilities to each complex site, grading for the first phase area, interior roadways, parking lots, irrigation water to complete the comple each complex site, and then construction documents for, com uh, for specific complexes. In August 2, uh, 2nd, 2011, the City Council passed a resolution to offer the local youth sports organizations not involved in the first phase for their right of refusal to enter into a lease agreement for their own complex in the future. Estimated that individual complex suites for the first sites for the first phase should be ready to begin construction by the end of the year. It's honestly my, this has been a dream of mine for years. It is my distinct pleasure to be able to be here today for all of us collectively to be here today to put the shovel in the ground for this that's finally answering the question how are we going to work the issue of youth sports in Tracy so with that I thank you all for coming I'd like to ask Rod to come back and say some closing remarks thank you very much thank you Mayor Eyes um, before um, we actually do the groundbreaking, I just want to acknowledge a couple, a couple of people. We have our today we have with our with us our city manager Leon Churchill, and I won't name all the city staff that are out here, but I'll just name the departments that really helped in this effort to get us to where we are today: Parks and Community Services, Public Works, and DES. Of course, other city departments helped as well, but those are the major departments that have, that have really come and helped us to formulate what we have here today. I also like to introduce our park commissioners, our City of Tracy Parks and Recreation Commi Parks and Community Services commissioners. Would you please stand so we can acknowledge you? Our commission is very involved with everything we do with parks and sports fields too. So with that, I would like to invite the, 
mayor and city council to come over here to the shovels. And after we uh, do the groundbreaking, please enjoy some refreshments by Vita Dulce. Great event here, this groundbreaking uh, for these sports fields, um, for now named at the Holly Sugar um, site, and it's a it's a project that's significant and important for two major reasons. One, there's a basic supply and demand uh, function or work here, and that is Tracy is a young community. There are a lot of families and there are a lot of young people who need a place to do their recreation thing. And these fields that will be developed here will go a long way in meeting that demand. So that is undeniable. It can't be refuted. And we're happy to be in position to respond to that. The other important thing um, that this project signifies is that this community can do anything that it puts its mind to. And whether it means partnering with the users, whether it means going through an arduous search at, at a number of locations, all of that means, as was stated earlier today by the mayor's comments, if you're persistent enough, if you're humble enough, you can get anything done. And once again, this community proves it can get incredible projects done. Those are two major things and reasons why this project is special. It's a collaboration of many, many groups of uh, sports leagues, the city, the school district, the landowners, it's a, it's a general process, the whole community coming together to open up activities, uh, location for the young people of Tracy. It's been a long time coming, but we have a tremendous future in this. And the leagues are going to benefit, and the youngsters will be totally benefit by this. Hopefully we'll expand in the future to include other aspects of sports. And it could include swimming, it could include maybe track, cross country, whatever it may be. But uh, the future's here, and we will open up the doors for our young people. Hi, I'm Tish Foley. I'm a Parks Commissioner for the City of Tracy. Also been an employee for the city for over 16 years. So I've really watched this field generate from an idea to reality today. What makes this project so unique is the collaboration between youth sports leagues and city staff. And it's really a dream come true for a lot of kids. And it'll be here for, for future years to come.